Hi, my name is Fizzy. Six months ago, I made a video claiming that I built the world's biggest Neverite beacon. It extended from bedrock all the way to the max build limit in Minecraft. But it's been a long time since then, and Minecraft has just had its biggest update ever announced, and for the first time since 2012, the build limit in Minecraft had been extended. And this means that the Neverite beacon I made to flex on Wadzi a long time ago could get a lot bigger. Now if you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. We have a lot of Minecraft videos planned for the future and the best way to not miss out is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Now first things first, let's talk about Minecraft's new build limit. This is not the first time such a change has happened in Minecraft's development history, but that's a topic we can save for another video. Originally, Minecraft had a build limit of 256 blocks, but recent snapshots have shifted this up to 384 blocks. With this change being slated for official release in 1.18, we can work with this and try to create a Neverite beacon that is 384 blocks tall. Now a few comments in the last video pointed out that there is a layer of bedrock in the overworld, so wouldn't that get in the way of us making our beacon? Well, yes, but there are two solutions to get around this. One solution is we remove the bedrock using a variety of glitches and exploits available in the update. Or the second one, which is more preferred, is we just build the beacon in the end. You see, the end dimension is an extremely viable place for our Neverite beacon. There is a large empty void surrounding the main island which we can build out into, and there will be no layers of bedrock getting in the way. So we have an ideal location for our beacon. Now we need to get the Neverite blocks. But how many blocks do we need? Well, let's use this formula which returns the volume of any Minecraft beacon, depending on n, the beacon's height. In the end, we will need approximately 75.5 million Neverite blocks, and in turn we will need about 679 million ingots, and finally to make those ingots, we will need 2.7 billion ancient debris. There is not even enough ancient debris in the entire Never dimension to make our beacon. Even if the Never had all the debris we needed, it would take around 7,700 years to find all of it. And this is assuming that we are using an optimal TNT mining method which can average 90 ancient debris per hour for the entire 7,000 year time span. That's not only a long time, but it's also impossible, and we haven't even factored in the 2.7 billion gold ingots that we will need to make the Neverite ingots with the ancient debris. So, this is getting out of hand really quickly, so why don't we just try to duplicate the Neverite blocks themselves? Instead of going to mine for the ancient debris, let's just duplicate the Neverite blocks in survival. Surely that would be a much faster method. Well, let's see. First, we need to select a duplication method, and while there are so many to choose from, we are going to hone in on the task manager method, which requires you to force close Minecraft to duplicate items. There are certainly faster ones around, but this one was a lot easier to break down. I won't explain it any further than what I'm showing on the screen, because it's not what we're here for. Secondly, we need to create a function that will model how many items we can get from this duplication method over time. Factoring in the player's inventory capacity and also the ability to duplicate shulker boxes, the final model is a piecewise function with three conditions. To put it simply, we start with one Neverite block. We duplicate it until we have enough blocks to fill a shulker box. Then we start duplicating the shulker boxes until we have a full inventory. Finally, since we are limited by inventory capacity, we duplicate the full inventory over and over until we have all the blocks necessary. Don't worry about the notation, all you need to know is that we can rely on this function to find how many duplications we need to do so that we can get the 75.5 million Neverite blocks. And after doing some calculations, we can safely say that we need to do 1299 duplications to get all the blocks we need. And if we assume that it takes 2 minutes to perform each duplication, we can get it done in about 41 hours. That's right. If you go for duplication exploits, you'll be done in about two days, at most a few weeks if you factor in actually having a life. But for those who want to go for a glitchless speedrun, you'll need to set aside nearly 8,000 years. No biggie. Also, I know we haven't yet worked out how long it would take to place all the blocks, but I'll leave that for you to find out when you build the beacon yourself. But wait, we can still go much further. We can climb to a height that is beyond everything we have seen so far. Let me explain. There is a little known mod called the Cubic Chunks mod, and essentially, the Cubic Chunks mod allows Minecraft worlds to have a build limit of 60 million blocks. Yeah, I'm not kidding. 30 million blocks, extending both above and below Y level 0. 
If we ignore literally every factor that would make this impossible to build, let's try to imagine a Neverite beacon that is 60 million blocks tall. Now first off, we need to calculate how many blocks we need for the beacon, and obviously this number is going to be stupidly big, so I'm not going to do it by hand, I wrote a program up that could do it for me, and the number we got was 288 sextillion blocks. Yeah, I know, that number sounds ridiculous. That number looks like this, by the way, with all the zeros. How do you even comprehend that? I mean, it's ridiculous. We can see it on the screen, but is there any context we can use to make sense of it? Well, based on findings from the field of astronomy, there might be more blocks in our beacon than there are stars in the observable universe. It's not for certain, but it's highly likely. So yeah, we really just flexed on the universe with a Neverite beacon, so that's pretty cool. Now to round everything off, how long would it take to get all the materials? Well, even if we use our duplication method, which is the most optimal way of doing so, it'll take around 8.8 .8 trillion years. That's insane. By that time, the formation of stars in our universe would have stopped. Distant galaxies would fade into darkness as their emitting light dissipates, and there is an extremely high likelihood that humanity has already been made extinct, either due to the dying of our sun, or from cataclysmic events in our distant future. Now I know we just took a turn for the worse then, I mean, come on, we were just talking about making pyramids out of the rarest block in Minecraft, and we ended up talking about the death of the universe itself. But that's what happens when you're dealing with these insane timescales. And I think it's interesting that we can actually imagine stuff like this. We might be small in the perspective of the universe, but we are also aware of how small we are. We may not have a lot of time, but we know how limited our time is. And the fact that I was able to put all that into the context of a block game, it's ridiculous. So, all in all, I hope you enjoyed, and by the way, huge props to Wadzi for legitimately creating a Neverite beacon in Hardcore Minecraft. That alone deserves credit, but this is more so me thanking him for being the inspiration for both my original video and the one you are watching right now. So that's all I had to say. Thank you all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and want to stay up to date with my latest content, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.